Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Hello, people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, welcome. We are back. Oh, wow. And I'm a real artist. All Anyways, right. actually, room five, room five, room five. We're doing party. Switch it up. Yeah, we're, we're doing dance uh, party tracks from India for the first time. It's not just Bollywood, actually. We're doing the whole of India or as much as I could fit in here before getting the podcast nuclear blocked. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to check out some old ones. Yes. And some fairly recent ones as well. There's like this song called like J Javan, or I know if it's a movie from R Ramia, not Ramia, Vast Vastavaya. Wow, Afra, yes, you I nailed think if I, that. If I said it more confidently, that. even if I was wrong, people would still uh, imagine it was someone who just kind of listening to the podcast. Ah, oh, yeah, he's he's from India. No. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know what? I I actually find like my life has been changed ever since I discovered the Indian music industry. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like, That's because I listen to it so much. We got our, our YouTube music recaps because we don't do Spotify or or anything like that because I don't know we're weird. No, um, I actually have Apple Music, and I wish they did like a, re like a recap. A recap I, I do YouTube Music. But I do have YouTube Music, and I use it quite often often as well. I like my so. top three, my top seven tracks out of seven, three were like in Hindi. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. I, I have a very weird mix of things. So you're probably seeing them yeah. on screen right now. But, but, but this is yeah. me after discovering <laughs> the Indian music industry. <laughs> Like, I, it really it really changed my life. Let's just get straight into this. It begins with Om Sham Tiom, which I think we've seen the, the trailer for, right? We have. And that shit was a trip. I I just, I I was able to to understand quite quickly what the whole thing was about. I did, and I was lost as hell. And if well, you'd like to watch that review. Gr like, grossly, yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of had a feeling of what You want to watch our trailer about. reaction today? It's on Future Friday India. Oh, of course, the second announcement is that, ladies and gentlemen, mm. The second movie will be out this week. So yeah, make sure yeah, if yeah, you're not yeah, subscribed yeah. Or, or if you haven't checked out Future Friday India, do give it a watch. Om Shanti Om. The full video is called Divanji Divanji. Divanji which Divanji. reminds me of like Diwali Gofu from J. Javani. It, it has the vibes. It yeah. has the vibes. Oh. Girl, I just love that mysterious wind. Yes, I know that does. It's okay. Who's the singer? Vishal Dadlani. Vishal Dadlani. I was gonna say that, but I wasn't very confident. Also, uh, people were telling me that there's like cameos for every single famous person from Bollywood in this video. Oh, okay. So, it was like long hair Arman Malik. <laughs> I thought they were gonna headbutt each yeah. other for a sec there. Listen, the freaking styling, the dresses these girls are wearing. I don't know who she is. Go! Oh, yes, yes. More and more great people. Hello, let's hug. Oh. Oh, how cool. I was oh. gonna say, are they gonna make it dance? Yes. Oh, what a cool guy. That was not scripted. It's a camarimba. Oh, oh Priyanka. Of course. You go, girl. Ooh. This is like Where weird fourth hell? world breaking. It really is. I just you see how explain to me how that wind. Oh wow. I don't know her name. What? But we've seen but her before. How does that wind never get into like Oh yes, yes. Hit, hit, wah, wah. Oh wow. I love that it's just music and the only thing happening is Oh, I'm champion! It's a cool video. It looks like that. 
I have no idea. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, he's a charmingest charmer. Dude, we've been reviewing music, Indian music for a good for a little while now. But I still don't recognize everything. I think those are just Actors. legacy names, yeah. Ooh. That dress though, that dress is everything. Sheesh, that physique, bro. Yeah, that dress is everything. Woo! Girl! Girl! Mm. They're all like actresses. I think that was the main girl from the beginning. Mm. Again, somebody explain to me the wind. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you play this at the parties? Yeah. Oh, that's a... Uh... Ah, oh, God. Oh, what a dress, man. Oh, I don't know what it is. Hello, Now, do Indian parties actually look like this? Or is this what everyone wishes they would look like? Yes, yes. Om Chanty <laughs> Yeah! Oh, they're like low key. <laughs> He's just the coolest guy alive. This movie is proper bizarre, bro. I like this movie. This movie has like, like. I feel like he has got a lot of the vibes. Oh, All look, the vibes correct. Good old John. Yeah. Oh, yes. So yes, it coming. Yes, yes, yes. Woo. He does strike me as that, that <laughs> type of guy, actually. <laughs> See, how cool is that guy? It does have... I just have to say, this is the partiest of the songs we've ever reviewed. <laughs> yeah. What the hell yours? Oh, look at her being perfection. Years after that first movie. <laughs> oh, they honestly, this he was he was it was them right in the flower field. It was yeah. I forget the movie though. But no, that is the is Dil no. It's a. Uh, she go. She comes to London in 1995. Oh, DDLJ. DDLJ. Yeah. That's a. Uh, That's a bit bloody. Bit what's his name? Shake, shake, shake. Yes, yes. Shake, shake. Oh, tough. Oh my God. Damn, I don't know who she is, but wow. Royalty. Just, she just exudes like, diva. Oh, Chantillon. It gives you that like, proper jingle vibe, doesn't it? Like Christmas jingle. It does, I was gonna say. It, it like can, promotional stuff. It's the partiest of the songs. I also think though, just imagine how long it took to film this. Do it. It's the longest song as well. Eight minutes. Oh, <laughs> Look who's there. Okay. Salman Khan. I thought he was taller. He's just a big guy. A big unit. He's a big guy. She's tall. <laughs> but she's like a Beyblade. <laughs> Looks like a younger version of Lord Himesh. You see it? Yeah, I do see it. Woo! Take off that jacket. Oh, Chantillon. 
Bro, those outfits are crazy. Jesus, yes, got size yes, of his yes, I'm telling arms. you, he's just a huge guy. <laughs> I know his name, but oh my god, he slipped my mind completely. Oh, gonna hit you. Nick Jonas, his wife? I swear this is literally the most cyclical song we've ever reviewed. I don't in a, think it has any essence, but what a cool video. I think that's the reason why the song is so catchy. Because there's there's nothing to it. Oh, yeah, but then Dang. they present a whimsical aspect to it the is. score. It's crazy. Because this movie is really strange. It's like a it's like a there's fever magic about dream. It. Yeah. yeah. He is like time traveling. It's like he reincarnates or something. That is so cool. What a cool way to break that. Yeah, you see? That's the peak, right? Mm -hmm. They're remembering past lives. And he's always the villain. No, the yeah, other, other guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also, he's living like a movie, is he? No, he's not living a movie. He is trying to... So he, I think the character, his character was an action film actor, very popular in the 70s. And he, he they murder him. And he reincarnates, like he comes back. But it's like decades, like decades later, later like modern day India. And he becomes... A, 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 he remembers his past life, so he does the same steps to become famous again. And it works. And it works. Man. And he's trying to figure out, it's like a murder mystery. He's trying to figure out who, who killed him. Oh. So I think, that, I, again, this is just all based in that one trailer I watched. Well, but it's no usually fairly the good film is like. at guessing things, which is actually quite an uncanny ability and quite an annoying one if you're the brother and you've shared quite a long period of time uh, <laughs> living together. <laughs> So, existing <laughs> yeah yeah so because she can always guess things and then i'm like oh for god's sake she's gonna be correct but she doesn't do it on purpose she's just like oh i wonder if this is gonna go where i think it's going i'm like where is it going and it's exactly perfectly how the fucking thing ends and then you're like well what's the point of watching any movies with this person ever again <laughs> it's just deduction like she just... put a muscle on her <laughs> yeah well i i actually hold back a lot when now we're she does, watching yeah. now she does we, we, we usually I mean, we haven't been to the cinema that often this year. Not there's anything good. And Dune got delayed anyways. Oh, uh, yeah. So that what's was the very... point? Dune 2. Yeah, that was kind of sad. I was really I looking think, forward to that. I think the more we dive into like Indian cinema, that will open up another venue for us to go to. Mm -hmm. Like, Because uh, there are usually quite a few like Indian movies, uh, either from the South or Bollywood, that are sort of releasing. And they play them here in London a lot, especially like in central London. It's a very mm -hmm. big deal. Um, but... But yeah, the reason why I wanted to check out Indian Indian dance songs is because, party, of course, party. they're not going to be... Well, they're not the genre that we love the most, as you can obviously tell. Then This is not the type of music that we listen to. I, I don't bang out Tony Kakar, okay? Although, I don't listen to Neha Kakar, Menali Trans. I don't stream that song. It's wild. It's a wild experience, and it requires, I think, energy. Instead of giving you energy, I think it takes away energy if you're not in that mood. Now, if you're around people and you're having a blast... Om Shanti Om, what a vibe. But musically speaking, that to me is one of the aspects of the Indian music industry that's the most mind boggling because they are some of the most popular songs in the whole of the industry. Yes, yes. But to me, they possess the least amount of streamable value. And they still, they prove to be the best Always. converting ones. I, I think. It's interesting, though, because I believe that the Indian culture is very party forward. So like uh, weddings, the weddings, birthdays. The, the birthdays, there's a, there's a big community vibes to to how they consume music from a commercial standpoint. These are all perspectives from a third, exactly. from a third eye 
a foreign perspective, genuinely a foreign perspective from the outside. Literally take it with a grain of salt. This is all we have learned through you. So, uh, but let us know in the comments. But let if us know if that's correct. I just get the idea that music is a, a, a community binding uh, entity. So mm -hmm. I think the 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 fact that these songs then become the 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 party tracks. They there are like a whole playlist. Everybody has a go to party uh, song list, and they are there are some songs that must they have to be in there. Um, so There's also a lot of festivals in India, mm -hmm. it, and given the fact that India is so vast with cultures, languages, religions, and also just in geography overall, there's so many festivals and so many celebratory uh, events. So you would presume that... Again, music is consumed as a community. Yeah, like for example, how many Holly songs have we... Re re oh, or how yeah. many songs that happen in Holly in the movies have we reviewed on the channel? Yeah, it's, it's quite like, a few. It's like above 10. Yeah. That's, that's mental. And yeah, that's a big... That's, that's a big only thing. one. Like what about Diwali? Yeah. And that's only two. And then what about all the hundreds of festivals that go on because if every state is also has different stuff that's right uh, again it's so cool though because in this particular song om chanti om you have it, it there's very there's a very straightforward uh structure to it but i love how they in included some of that conflict and mystery back in towards the end of the song again i think the whole purpose of the track was to do a big mashup of of celebrities. Big track. Coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Everything it, marketable. And I don't think the song had any other purpose other than just being a big, yep. a big uh, cameo party. Because um, even, even the lyrics are like, you know, look at the evening, it's just crazy, slowly it may turn into a story. Look at the evening, it's just crazy, slowly it may turn into a story. My beloved is here. Dil bari hai. Why wouldn't it be piare hai? Dil bar piare he, because oh. piar means love, right? Yes, but maybe it's is a different um, uh, like a verb conjugation. No, it's a different f what? endearment. Is a different endearment. Oh. Dil dare nazare he, they are attractive sights all around. Oh, learn that, son. As soon as I walk into India, yeah, get off the airport. Dil dare nazare he, kyunki as. Bang! Today stars, <laughs> today stars have come <laughs> down on Earth. Ah, uh, all oh, right, fuck off. Um, no one has any wits left. It's just me. Oh, I I know why they are able to break the fourth wall because if it is about fame and acting and stuff, they can actually put genuine correct, actors in the correct. thing. Sorry, That's I'm just quite dumb. <laughs> it's just me, my heart, and my beloved and all these other cameras and famous people that will gossip about me. It's just total craziness. <laughs> there is no guide nor a leader who can be blamed for this. They spell blamed wrong. It's just total craziness. All hot girls put your hands up and say, I'm at peace. That's what it means. Om Shanti Om means I'm Om at peace. Shanti Om. Are we sure? To me, that seems a bit bizarre, doesn't it? No, Om I think it is. It Shanti is. Om translation. We say it in yoga. I'm in peace. So I think it has this, uh, some some Zen situation. It means peace in body, yeah, peace in the mind. That's peace right. in body, peace in the mind, peace in speech or spirit. Correct, correct. Oh, but it's in yoga. Okay, I have a question, guys. So we know we have people that watch from India. Um, you know, people that are here, like in the West, and they teach like yoga and stuff, and they use all these Hindi terms and all this shit. How do you guys feel about that? Like, is it real? Like, would you fucking go into, like, yoga class in India? And then you have some guy with some bonnet, but he actually grew up in, I don't know, in... <laughs> Sussex. Orlando or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then he's like, I don't understand that. Like, fair play, maybe he went to India and maybe he learned it like that. But would you actually use that terminology? I think it is part, like, you know, I am, I am totally convinced. Or has it been washed? By the West. Oh, uh, definitely. But to to be a yoga person, like mm. a, like an instructor, you have to take a cur a course that is like, like it's like proper thorough. No, no I'm not. No, I'm in not terms, saying they in terms of the because yoga is Indian. Yeah, I know. So but I'm not talking about technique. So the terms are like the in terms Hindi. are like Hindi. It's like when you study ballet. All the voc vocabulary is in French. Ah. So I think that's... It's all the same. Yeah, but again, but we... Would India be the best place to learn yoga in there, obviously? Well, yeah. Yeah, because it's like... For, well, 
like taekwondo for example like in, in from japan arguably right now you could probably learn taekwondo world class level at, at, in the us but you can not necessarily you, in japan but you go to thailand to learn muay thai and i think that's but yeah but thailand's one of the few like that same as brazilian jiu jitsu i like you go there to learn it yeah, and i think s- a s- lot same as a uh, sambo like you would go to russia that's that's what i mean i think yoga is still like, like that. that but yeah. you can learn it to a really good standard anywhere in the west but i would I think, presume yeah i think it's like if you want to go to like the core essence yeah. of things. But I'll let you guys answer that. Anyways, let's uh, let's go with the next one. The next one is, someone said, like, we can't have a podcast about dance music from India if we don't have Ani Root okay. in, the, in the podcast. So this is it. Mari, I know it's Sony. You guys Bye. will probably see a picture coming in and out because the video Bye. will get blocked. Shout out, Sony. They're actually mates. I know you don't hate us, which is nice. Gives me peace of mind. But, mate, what the fuck? <laughs> this is YouTube. Oh, damn. Ah, that's what I was wow. expecting. Wow! I think this is South. It definitely sounds like it. Yes, 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 yes. Vaya papi! Eso! Woo! Wepa! Oh! They, they got guys! Fire so iron! See, this I like! My goodness gracious! Oh, that is ridiculous! Layers here, though. Sister Luke. Tammy. Mm-hmm. He's definitely the South, though. It just, like, he just screams it. He is incredible, though. What a great dancer. Shout out to the backup dancers, too. And the environmental freaking set building. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, Oh, that was a pigeon. <laughs> nice and cute. That is so cool. You're crazy. This is so cool. And he's barefooted? Yeah. Uh, this is what I was expecting. Amaze balls. I love this. What a way to introduce a character as well. A long shark. Ooh! Yeah. What, bro? Talk about some explosive energy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, the structure of that choreography is so bloody brilliant. Oh, it's phenomenal. Such great directing as well. It's so dynamic. So cool how you can notice cinematographic direction and uh, style. It's so easy in India, like in different parts of India. You can really clock it easily. Oh, Fast. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool though. It's very distinct. What a likable gangster. I like this guy. <laughs> that is clever. The musical. It's got I... someone's head, isn't it? Mm. Oh, someone. <laughs> just a cholo gangster from our hood in Venezuela. <laughs> That's what he looked like. <laughs> he's, he's just another. The two... <laughs> oh! Ooh, he's the apprentice. He's the Robin of the Batman. <laughs> wow! Again, he's so brilliantly done. Dude, the freaking choreo is insane. Structure and style, the dynamics in this freaking music video are ridiculous. 
I love how obnoxious everything is. It's so big. It's larger than life. I think it works really well with specific scenes like this, especially with action-packed movies that deal with uh, sort of darker concepts like, uh, you know, drugs, uh, uh, gangs, uh, illegal activities and stuff like that. I think it works really well because it is called a fast life, right? Yeah. It, it is literally everything on ecstasy. Everything is like 100% maximized times two. So it, it fits really well, and I think the southern uh, part of India, in terms of action movies, has really encapsulated that, perhaps better than any other industry ever in the world. Um, and I wonder where they got that from. Could it be perhaps just culturally driven? Like, I'd love to see an evolution of uh, southern cinema through the 1900s all the way till now, because we've seen it quite often, actually, from Bollywood, but I don't think we've ever seen it from, the, you know, the, Tamil uh, or cinema or Telugu cinema or, you know, Malayalam cinema. Yeah, I totally agree. There's there's such a cool essence. Malayali, I, think. I guess. Malayali. Yeah, yeah. I think there's such a cool essence in terms of, like, the uh, percussion that is vastly available in the south of India. Yep. The the percussiveness of, of their music, per se, tends to be quite fast-paced, quite, quite uh, pugnant. It has to be the main source of musicality like it is the reason why the song is made is to emphasize the rhythmicality that the whole choir of drums actually provide naturally so having a a a, a song that um it's all to do with like a fast-paced life a a big obnoxious character that has his dates counted it is such a brilliant musical approach seems uh, to be looking for a successor right correct so you're uh, there you're moving in life real quick and there nothing says movement like a really well done drum section yeah uh, and, and that's exactly that's exactly what you're getting here so i just must i must condone the go on, go. The, the absolute phenomenal directing uh, for movement like the movement direction of this uh, video it was ridiculous like the transitions even though they were abrupt they they had essence they had meaning there is such a beautiful structural um uh, visual approach to things that i feel a lot of choreography forward songs tend to lose even in bollywood i feel like it it, it tends to be like oh and now it's a dance number but because the, this particular song was so obnoxious in terms of like it's larger than life it's bigger than everything you've ever seen the, you have uh, the opportunity to really pack a lot of action through each uh, sequence of, of, of scenes. Who was the director? What a brilliant so, mind. So the, the director was the same the same as the writer. Oh, that Balaji, makes sense. Balaji Mohan. Uh, he's an Indian filmmaker and actor. Oh, wow. In Tamil language uh, films. I don't know if you pronounce it Tamil or Tamil. I think we've always been pronouncing it Tamil. But I think you guys are too polite to correct us a lot <laughs> of the time. So... Uh, I will say both and then kindly let me know in the comments so we, we don't keep getting it wrong. Especially since, you know, we are back podcasting and we are back interviewing artists. So I don't want to sound like that guy that, you know, that's, that's saying like namaste, you know, in his fucking yoga class. Namaste. It's like, yeah, it's like, hey, yo, bro, chillax. Namaste. Or like calling chai, chai tea. Isn't that saying like water, water? <laughs> Basically. You know, yeah. like hot dog, hot dog. You know, like, what the <laughs> Yeah, so I please guys teach me, teach me. Perro caliente hot dog. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, um, yes. It is a movie about Danush plays Mari, a local gangster, and this mm -hmm. film also works Vijay Yesuda's Tamil uh, debut. So the, the composer of the soundtrack was uh, Anirud uh, Rava, Ravi Chander. Okay, that makes a lot um, of. We freaking... know him just as Anirud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't. I actually didn't know his <laughs> surname. His surname, I didn't know either. They also made a. a a distinct remark. Who was the choreographer? I'll tell you in a second. A distinct remark to mention that it was a local video. So I don't know if it has perhaps a different version of this because it was. You saw a lot of local people in the background. Correct. No, but they were definitely paid actors. No, no, not in the, not at the end. Not these ones here. Look. I guarantee you, these guys here, these ah, kids here. Ah, I see what you they're mean. They're chilling. Yeah, I think they're chilling. You see what I mean? And I think all these guys here ah, and stuff. Right, I think they're right, chilling. Right, right. Just enjoying the show. 
This also, happens sometimes as well in like South America, wh definitely. where you go to like uh, you know specific local areas. It's like you can only disrupt so much. Yeah, I think that the the cool thing about this though, again, just put up Rob. that that image on on big screen, yeah. just so that I can help specified how incredible this is like there's layers to the images and i think this is very common in south indian cinema where you have layers of movement in the live shot in the one shot that they're filming at so you have a forefront of extras that are going on about their life and then you have a second layer which is the main dancers the main characters bang on front and the middle front and center and then you have a third layer of movement and then a fourth layer of still set or people just extras just filling in the room and i think there that layered uh work of direction in terms of like visual captivation it really helps focus into that main front and center uh section it's it's quite cool though he says here that Mari received a mix of reviews from critics. It, it wasn't all positive and it wasn't oh. all negative. But this is the ginormous benefit of having such big tracks do so well, regardless of how well the movie is being cri criticized or the reviews that it's receiving either from the critics or from the audience, which, mm -hmm. of course, you have to take the scores from the audience as the true truest uh, uh, score. But... If you have such big hits and you have songs that do really well, just for a mere conversion rate, you would have people, oh, actually, I like a lot of the songs from here. Even if the movie is somewhat mid, I know I'm not to like the songs in the movie. That's so true. that's it, still a conversion. Would that get access to seats? I think so. Would it? I think it works well, immensely Bollywood better. Well, has proven to be, to do that exactly. There's the, the Southern, yeah. si Southern Cinema also yeah. in India. But... I think it works even better in streaming platforms because it's so much more accessible. You don't like... It's like you're releasing. Again, I think it's such a brilliant approach. I don't think it makes the most sense in terms of like storyboarding in a film, but it's it's a fool's proof uh, way of promotion. Uh, way of promoting mm. because not only are you selling tickets to the cinema, but you're also reining in that stream yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're raining in that it works quite well. cash from, from the song itself. It's freaking brilliant. Thank so you. the next one is, um, oh, wow, look at this. Mm -hmm. Udit Narayan, Sonu Nigam, uh, Shankar Mahadevan. Jesus. And then the song is called Mahi Ve. Mahi Ve. And this is okay. Oh, it's from yeah. a... Kal Honaho. Kal, Kal Hona. Yes, yes, yes. This is where the guys go to Mahi New York, Ve. right? I think so. And I couldn't, I couldn't figure out. Oh. You see what I'm talking about? Those layered of movements in the videos. It's so cool. Nice. This is one of those very iconic songs. Where I've seen them a lot. In compilations. Yeah, compilations, yeah. Ooh. So many different influences of eras of music. And SRK is just the leading man. Everybody sing. Oh. Yeah, like you have influences from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s in this. This is early 2000s, though. I know. <laughs> but it's just prime disco. It is. Mixed it with is. 2000s pop. It is. And visuals with a stench of, what, the 90s? It is. That's what I mean. It's like... Oh, they have writing in their bellies. It's henna. Oh. It's very popular, this guy. Uh, 
The guy next to SRK. Mm. We see him in a lot of things. Apologies, yeah. though, I don't know his name. Yet. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Go, Dad. Uh. Ooh, okay. I love those dresses. Are, they, are those saris? I think so. Look gorgeous. Gorgeous. You remember what the lads are wearing? Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the female singer? Alka. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it doesn't sound like her, but I'm just saying. I'm training my ear. Ooh, cool. That's a track though, bro. <laughs> I totally agree. I really like this. Oh. Ooh, very cool. Oh, mixing a little bit of more orthodox Ooh. traditional. This song is actually great, yeah. musically speaking. Is this a send-off? Ooh, that was so nice! Aww. Has a lot of depth, this song. It is like a send-off, huh? I think it is. You know what? There's nothing positive that hit me hard. That hit me hard. Oh. There's nothing like I've never understood the concept of send off parties. What is a send off? What do you mean by that? But like people are going away to like get, they get a job in a different country and then they get all their like friends. From, oh. And then they get they ha they have a party and then everybody's like oh I wish you well. I thought send off is before they get married. No, that's those are Hindus or stack dues. Ah. Yeah, we're like. The well, guys all the all the women walk around with a blow up doll or something. Uh huh. And the boys go to like a strip club in the west. So that's usually what what happens. Does that, that happen in India? If you're watching from India. Yeah. The, the, do what you do? You guys do what is for it? Hindus the hen Hindus. And, and and is stack dues. Yeah, I've been to a few stack dues, but yeah. none of any one that I was close to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just sort of ended up there. Yeah, you know, as you do. But yeah, I don't I don't know the the send off parties, like goodbye parties. I'll see you later. I hope you have they, a nice time in New York. Yeah, they oh I don't understand that. They Because it reminds you of everything that you're going to miss. Yeah, it's <laughs> uh, it's the worst. Tough. It's the worst. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Oh, it's the jiggy jiggy. Ooh, gorge. They work together so many times. Is yeah. that, uh... Saif Ali? <laughs> Come on, it has to be super fun to record this, bro. Oh, definitely. I think these are those numbers that you, like, have a blast doing. The kid with the clutches was living life there. Oh, it's a wedding! They got married! Okay! I thought it was a send off. Oh. Uh. You see what I mean about percussion and like fast light? 
Yes, yes, bro. Yes, yes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it got nasty in here. What are those things, guys? Cool. I love those transitions. They're so cleverly done. Oh, big change in the here. Because I think he's dead. Doesn't he die? Or he's like in the in-between life. Bro, how the hell do you know this shit? <laughs> I, I, I've watched what the, the hell? I, here's here's what I here's what my knowledge of Bollywood uh, consists of. Why would this song do it? Ah, uh, because uh. I think he goes into a coma, and then he. This is all in his head. No, no, no. I no. I think you know, like I think he goes into a coma, and he's like astral ex, ex, exploring. So like <laughs> projection. Oh, ne Neha Kakar has an unplugged version of this song. Uh, Okay. Somebody in the comments, please, no. God, no. <laughs> I don't know why she gets so much hate. I rate her. <laughs> Neha, if you're watching this, I think you're an all right human being. Because <laughs> people really get it twisted. Like, oh, she's a shit singer or something. And then, she, therefore, she's the worst person. It's like, chill, chill out. Chill out. Chill out, brother. You know? You listen to Drake. I'm going to I'm going to I like Drake. Drake, if you want. Mm. Actually, man. Not that bothered. Uh, anyways, Mahibe, what is it? Lyrics English. Lyrics English. Let, let's see what comes yeah. up. Yeah, so again, I think he he is like in a coma or he's like, I don't know, somewhere in between the life limbo. Because I thought he between. was just jealous, wasn't he? Like that he his girl got taken or something. Isn't it, no, that the, I think the song we, we he's heard? Trying, he's trying to get his, the, the, his love interest to notice that he's not that he's there mm. kind of like uh, the premise of ghost uh oh mother would love that movie uh, she would love this movie but i don't actually know what the resolution is i could never tell but i know that he's like he goes in between the ma realms of ma ma existence mahive means my sweetheart that's the way mahive that's the way my sweetheart right that's um, the way uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> i like it on mm -hmm. your forehead and chandelier tingles in your ears, the earrings shine, my sweetheart. In your hand, the bangles jingle. In your feet, the ankles chime, my sweetheart. If any oh. rhymes in English, I like. Yeah, it has a nice uh, nice flow to it. My sweetheart, oh Lord, you speak with your eyes. Oh Lord, you dance with my, in my heart. Oh Lord, you mix nectar. You, my beloved, you're my sweetheart. Beautiful sweetheart, come to me. Everybody sing, beautiful sweetheart, come to me. Sony, Sony, de ah, uh, jama, he. I love the choreo, actually. It's banging. Uh, your, fa your eyes are black. Your, fa your face is fair. My sweetheart, you glow. Your glow is like gold. You're like a part of the moon. Mm, very cool. If you want to compliment my sister, who oh. was watching this, <laughs> basically just say anything regarding the moon. You know. <laughs> tu cara es como Cuna un burro. Very <laughs> face como un burro. <laughs> okay. uh, and, and the moon in Spanish means Luna No burro Burro no means burro. donkey That's a reference to the speaker I mean I won't say it. If you got the, the reference uh, Oh lord my heart is easy Uneasy <laughs> You my beloved You're my sweetheart Beautiful sweetheart La 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 Art and sound universal in all parts of the world what about bloody, bloody, blada? Is that also universal? No, I think that's a very British thing to do. Like, say, if I was speaking in Hindi to someone, you no, know, I was saying, Mujoko, say... Mujoko mm. Mahive, Kalho Naho, Om Shanti Om. And then I said, bloody, bloody, blada. You know? That's exactly what you just said in Hindi, though. I'm pretty sure that's just the same no. babble. Anyways, babbling there. This one Babbling thing. band of baboons. <laughs> the, the, this, uh, this is the aspect of of Indian music that I like the most when it's done like this. I don't mind dance songs per se, or sort of pop I do. dance I like songs them. per se. No, I have no issue with them because that wasn't just a dance song. Correct. That that was a dance song, but it it was this it was disguised as a dance song, but it had so many more layers than it would first lead you to believe on the first listen. The utilization of such complex uh, percussion, such complex percussion is what I was trying to say. And 
the introduction of different styles it, and it still does it well where it doesn't become like a cocktail or absolutely weird mix of things it implements them quite well and if it if a song ever does that very well and it does not disrupt the listening experience and is well received by the crowd it means that all the genres that it try to implement were excellently integrated into the song so it's a very well seasoned dish basically i totally agree with that i think there's such beauty in that particular track they had so many right things going on mm. that e even the fact that the song is cyclical and it's repetitive and it's disguised as a party song there are so many beautiful musical uh, principles that are not being violated, which I absolutely adore. The the vocal layers, the implementation of different uh, rhythmical uh, uh, sections in the song, the the absolute wonders of having the female vocalist in layers, having like a bit of a choir situation, a bit of a ballad uh, breakdown. Everything was so beautifully done. The, I really like that. The next song, it's... Disco Dancer. Okay. So very much within the theme of today. Oh, this is old. Ooh, this screams 80s, baby. Maybe even 70s. But disco with Rasta well, Party. Definitely, it's definitely the 70s. What am I, what am I on? Her hair. It's perfection. Why are you so sad, sir? Why are you distressed? Beauty is too much then. I want to be that level of beautiful, make people wince when they see me. This is beautifully remastered. Yeah, why is he so distressed? <laughs> yes! Check, check. Check, check. Oh, nice! Same, bro. I I don't know what to feel. She's cool, though. Also, what a set. Can we have a moment for that set? Somebody check on this, sir. I'm so confused. I like her though, she's phenomenal. There is such beauty in uh, like stylistically right movements. Oh, that was not planned, but look at that. And then in the next yeah. shot, she didn't have it on. <laughs> no, she has it back in her hair. Yeah. Such organic takes, I love that. He just needs a hug. Well, I think he's having a fucking breakdown because too many likes. Theo Vaughn would say something. <laughs> he would say so many things, I don't know where they're happening. She's got like, I don't know, the dance confusion race. Cause I'm like weirdly <laughs> chomped, but I'm also weirded out. Yeah, no, I think. Why is everyone crying or something? Maybe she's dead. confirmed it bro that song is a trip okay. whoever recommended that what that's so wild 
Because there's such an underlying tone of like... Uh, Disturbed! Yeah. <laughs> there was something else going on. That I need to know the lyrics. What does Jimmy Jimmy Aja mean? I don't, I don't think there's Jimmy, like... Jimmy, 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 Aja, Aja. That was for the first time we checked out Parvati Han and Vijay Benedict. English lyrics. Oh, apparently there's a conversion in China. Disco dancer. Jimmy, Jimmy, Aja means come. Come with me. This night is without any sleep. Listen, it's calling for you. Sing the same tune for me. He's dead. Why are you quiet? Break your silence. Don't lose your heart and live. Don't be mad. Why are you quiet? Break your silence. Come with me. This, this night, night is, is without any sleep. Sing, sing the same tune. Listen, Listen, it's, it's calling, calling for you. That's basically what the fucking song felt to me. I was like, ah. See, you know, okay. And this... people in the comments are saying, like, what a track. This is fucking unreal. And my mom used to love this. <laughs> what? I'm not saying it's a bad song. As a matter of fact, I actually think the disturbed nature of it and the underlying themes like, that like showcases the uh, hypnotic essence of it. That showcases some musical principles that have been lost for a good while. Mm. And I think. I think it's it, I think it's it's as accurate to this to the time the 70s used no, to but, have this like a uh, feel of like hypnotic music. No, but I feel like especially in cinema. Uh-huh. You could utilize that so well especially yes. in suspenseful movies, crime thrillers, horror thriller movies. I and, agree. Cuz you could you could then switch that and and uh, interpret that scene in so many ways. I I'd love for someone to uh Sort of break that down for me because I'm, I'm a bit confused. Yeah, me too. A lot, a lot of people from Ukraine, uh, from Russia, from mm. uh, what is this, a Azerbaijan, which I, I don't know where that is, um, and people were saying that this is such a big hit um, in both Eastern <laughs> Europe, <laughs> Uzbekistan. How wild! Okay, you guys gotta America as well. What the fuck? Please, you gotta in Brazil. You gotta do some explaining here, people, because I am thoroughly confused. I'm basically also, him. I'm him yeah, right now. Th this is me. That's me. She she got that confusion, Riz. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't really understand what the context is, and I think it's a pinnacle. Is a pinnacle situation like you you gotta understand the context in order to understand the song but if you were just listening to the song without looking at the music video what a great dance track 70s coming in hard alba playlist and put it in there it's, well, it's I'm, I'm quite so uh, I'm, it's I'm, great i'm wondering if perhaps we have like an older demographic watching right now when, mm -hmm. they, when they were watching this and if this was truly streamed because well, was it streamed, streamed i mean listened to and yeah. where you listen to the song a lot and if you were why because was it because perhaps the relationship with the movie and then it sort of became a phenomena through the movie and the plot of the movie? Or was it just because the n nature of the catchiness of the song per se? Because I would bet on the first one, not on the latter. Uh, I would bet on the latter. I would bet in the fact that this is such a catchy song that everybody would find themselves listening to it and requesting it on the radio. You don't think people saw the undertone of... You don't hear it though. Shut up. You don't hear it. What? No, the tension is is actually amplified because the of the, the of the, the uh, uh, music visual video. aid. Yeah, I mm. don't think when you're listening to the song, you're just hearing a disco track, and I think there is an eeriness to how cheery it is. No. And for that reason, you kind of like. But I don't think Efra, if you weren't li looking at the, the video. But the foreplay of of the. Of the mastering of the vocals, uh -huh. you don't, you don't, you don't feel the the tension within you them. You do feel the tension, but you you wouldn't be able to. To a certain extent, I think they would have even if they had that available at that time, which obviously they didn't. They would have played with binaural sound. Then. Oh, definitely. And they tried to with the layers and how forefront they put some vocals and how back they put others. Yeah, I you don't totally think people agree. clock that. I don't think so. Damn. I don't think so, Par particularly for the dance Times. nature. No, for the dance nature and the catchiness of that mm -hmm. hook, I don't think people would look too much into it. Okay, let's check out the next one, which is Sadi Gali, which a lot of f f brand new names, which we wanted to do as well. Not just always check out the same singers, you know? Definitely. Ooh. Okay, I love me a good DJ scratch. Ooh, Punjabi. Punjab. Not sure if it is, but it might be. It sounds it. 
Definitely looks like it's the Punjab state, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds like that. She's beautiful. Yeah, it's oh, Punjab. yeah, it's Punjab. Honestly, nothing screams party more than Punjab Punjabi music. music. I don't know if that's because I live in London and that's just like one and one is two, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. But you see, that's, that's what I think about. Isn't that wild that the most played Indian genre in England is Punjab. Yeah, it's not pop. It's not you. You don't get Arijit. You don't get Shreya. You don't no, get no, Jubin. Punjabi. Get Punjabi, Punjabi music. Yeah, yeah, Punjabi music. It's so popular. I don't know. It's because a lot of. I don't know if there's a big demographic here, but it's definitely party music, even in the clubs. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just the percussive nature of it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but I would argue that Telugu or like Southern music, would also Southern Indian music has a very big percussive nature. True. Ooh. Ominous. Oh. She's great though. She's awesome. I really like her as a lead female character. She's charming, she's beautiful, she's got that like strength, you know? That's a very strong female character and I have no idea what her arch is. And it doesn't play to the whole cliche of a strong female character. Yeah, she's so feminine and so yeah. incredibly enticing in nature. Was he in Three Idiots? He is, yeah, he was. Where's she walking? I think she's getting married to somebody else. Oh, I understand. Ooh, he's her best friend and she's getting married to somebody else. <laughs> That's a party, man. Yeah, they are going for that. Ooh, wow. What, what big trombone thingy was that? It was huge. gonna confess and we're kind of gonna end up together because if they're playing to the whole theme of you know he seems to be quite a f you know fairly shy mm -hmm. lad not your typical lady killer uh, and she's very energetic that sort of yin and yang but usually the yin it's the male lead and then the yang is the female lead they tr swapped it around a little bit if they're playing towards that then you would presume that he is like the super nice guy that doesn't confess like the love friend. and then she's getting married I don't know that I'm trying to use the logic that you use to, you know, decipher plots, but I think I'm still going to be wrong. That's okay. It takes it take some I time. I don't watch enough media. <laughs> I don't consume enough movies and stuff. Like, like this year will just... be will be the year where I watch the most amount of movies because of Future Friday India. I, yeah, I think so. I think so for real. Yeah. I, I genuinely believe it's the, 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 uh, the depicting of some of these plots. I think it's because I read a lot. Yeah. I I don't know. There's time. there there are certain there are certain themes that are like they're very iconic all throughout entertainment. So yeah. I think they they're so explored that I would bet on those themes before I bet in anything else. You know, one thing I've noticed as well throughout all the songs that we're we're reviewing, even though they are dance tracks and some of them so fancy, for example, the the one that's next, it's you know it's like a few days old. Uh -huh. um, hmm. But all the previous ones, they are like a few years old, but 
Three of them have been in the streaming era or in the digital music era, post the digital music revolution. Lengthwise, they've always been in the four, five, six minute lengths. Well, because I think Efra, the shorten, shortening of the songs for streaming will value, it's fairly, Recent. it's barely two years old. Not for pop. Not for pop. For pop, that's been happening in the last 10 years. Oh. I was looking at a study last uh, yesterday. Oh, right. Yeah. I think it's becoming more noticeable, though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It, it's happened, you know, exponentially higher in the last three years because of TikTok. Genuinely, labels are now making music just to become a TikTok hit, hit where they utilize the sound, mm -hmm. which is something brand new to me. I'm quite a dumbass in that aspect. <laughs> but because I'm not on TikTok, but they're genuinely focused on creating that because now that TikTok and labels have actually have some sort of understanding on how this shit works, it counts as a stream. So a lot of songs are now getting this immense amount of streamable value and amounts of streams. It's because they've become hits in Reels and in TikToks. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. only in the last three years. But pop songs haven't... You've never really had a pop song that's like seven minutes long, oh, six yeah, minutes no, long. That's for sure. That's for sure. You had the rare ones, like the long version of Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. You had like some long pieces of rock in the 90s. But it's not the norm for popular music, especially 4x4 mm -hmm. four four like 4 on the floor music, dance tracks. They're going to be three to four minutes long. Here well, there's, there's really not much essence there to well, stretch it out for eight minutes unless it's Om Shanti Om. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the value of Om Shanti Om is that the it's song the that most... It's expertise. No, it's it's the video. It's it's the combination of both, and I think Punjabi music. The reason why it become it has become so popular in the West, not just in London, like in England, but also in the US, it's because I think Punjab Punjabi music has been the one that has adapted the most to Western styles. So like rap and urban music, like you have Diljit Dosanjh, you have Sidhu Musvala, rest in peace. You have all these ginormous names yes, that yes, adapted yes, 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 Punjabi yes, yes. music and Punjab to culture. To the new uh, rising scenes of the of era. Urban. In the yeah, last 15 yeah, years correct. of urban music. So trap, uh, hip hop, hip -hop. Uh, commercial R&B, things like that that have been integrated into Punjabi music. Yeah, I pa agree. Punjab, Punjabi music is the only genre really or the only state that has sort of created commercial r&b in india it's true it, i actually think it's not a thing in, in in the whole of india i believe that based on you guys's like requests input. and input i think one of the the rising scenes in hip-hop and commercial uh, urban music is definitely the punjabi state yeah. all right so the the last one is shilpa rao Ooh, vishal dadlani her. Annie Root. Okay, okay. SRK, gonna oh be dancing. Oh my god. And it's called Javan Not Ramia Vastavaya. Okay. So I, I, I said I should have said it confidently. I think it's only the promotional. Oh my god, what? Wow. Ooh. Yeah, he's wedged now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always looked incredible. Ooh. Good on you, T Series, for putting me uh, subtitles. Oh, vocals, though. Vocals. Dude, this guy here? Yeah, he is wow, what going a visual cost. for life. Okay. Oh, no. What the fuck? These dancers are literally. They said diversity. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I thought I, I didn't even Enhance. think about it. Like, I didn't think about it. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, tienes mi corazón. What the fuck? Tienes mi corazón. It's up with Michelle that lady. You have my heart. And Spanish. And uh, Chil Parrao, he loves Listen, it. He loves it. He loves and it. And she, I have and no he, issue with it. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Let's Pepper finish said. this before I give my verdict, because I think people are going to know what it is. We are Spanish, yeah? This is not Hindi, though. This is a different one. Hello, man. I don't know, but it's definitely not. Vishal sounds so cool. He's the coolest vocalist, though. Bro, I'm so happy for Shilpa, bro. Like, same, I genuinely same, same. cannot be happier for that woman. She's so, like, velvety and sexy. Yeah? Like, it's just such a cool thing to be an alto. Especially in a music industry where I think altos, altos don't not, get yeah. their, their... Recognition they deserve! <laughs> yeah, commercially. I don't know why. It, it, I don't think the market it's a... sets the demand. It's I not us. Don't... It's not... Series is you guys. So. I just genuinely think it's because it's not a sound that it's explored enough, and I think the more exposure, the more people will become, will start asking for this type of sound. Shilpa domination. <laughs> The girl in green, they gave her screen time. That's actually pretty good Spanish. Yeah, it sounds nice. It's just out of nowhere. Javan. It's Tamil. It's in Tamil. It's in Tamil, you think? I can check in a sec. All right. All right, can I just say, though? Okay, can I just say, before you say anything, yeah. and check what language we just heard that in, uh, I must say, the actual beginning structure of the track, take away the percussion, take away the percussion, like the chord progression, uh, the vocal e equalization, the freaking uh, tension building, divine, so freaking awesome, divine, divine. I love the Vishal that Lani's rawness and like quirkiness to his vocals is very manly. It's very grungy. It's very alternative music meets Hindi, like Hindi Bollywood music, and I think I love that uh, because it's 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 two very opposites, two polar opposites coming together musically. Um, because it's not polished, it's not refined, but I hate the drop. <laughs> I do, but I just love the fact that it's like the core progression is actually brilliant. I love the tension building. I love Shilpa in here is very sensual. It's very feminine and it's very seductive and I love that about her, but, um, I, I, I just don't vibe with that drop. I like the choreo. Wonderful dancers. They they were doing bits there. So Ramia Vastav Vaya, it's derived from an old Telugu folk song and it translates to Lord Ram you will come. Lord Ram. The Telugu dub version of the film A ah, was so well received that Raja Kapure was elated and showed his gratitude for Telugu audiences by having this song in Sri 420. And I think that's um, I mean, this was posted two days ago. Ah, uh, so maybe it's like a, like like a. They took inspiration from out. it. Yeah, but, like a tip of the hat. Yeah, but the trailer is here. But it's um, I think the original. It's an action film. Yeah, oh for sure. But the original is in I Hindi. I didn't mate. know until I saw the guns at the end. It's the pick up by Bukoni as well. It's that partnership they have going on right yes, now. Yes. Like, really kicking out. Oh wow! Okay. Buka Piazza. Yeah, that's not Hindi. This is definitely. It is Hindi. Are you sure? Yeah, it's Hindi. Ah. Yeah, it's been Hindi all the time, I think. Ah, why does they it do have so a Telugu though? version? But maybe I'm just Ek tripping. Both. That's sound different. Yeah, yeah you should. Maybe it's a sound equalization. It makes me think it's the sound. Yeah. 
बहुत गुस्से में था सब उसके फैन बने पड़े मैम कोई नाम है Oh, that was London. That bold was bold SRK. That was definitely <laughs> featuring what, bold overground, overground London trains. Featuring old SRK, new SRK, bold SRK, boom XRK, legacy SRK. हमारे पास अभी सिर्फ एक ही clue है. वो छह लड़कियाँ. Oh, this gives me money heist. There is no way in hell. She did not do that with an. There is no way in hell. Forty-five kg, like if you get caught on it, can move around as I can. Yeah, it is. It is him. They wanted to make a clear statement. That's not London. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, it did look like in the fr one of the one of the shots. I thought that that looked pretty much yeah, like nah, an nah, overground not... train. But I'm a villain, Bantaona. We learn. My name is Kali. Okay, Kali. What I one? I am the fourth largest weapon dealer in the world. Oh. अगर कोई मेरे इतने बड़े तो लेट्स मेक हम जवान हैं पर आई फील लाइक इस इस ट्रेलर फॉर सेवेन मूवीज इट इस 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 टेकन सो मेनी टाइम्स लेकिन सिर्फ देश के लिए डेम व्हाट द तुम्हारे जैसे देश बेचने वालों के लिए हर किस नहीं सो काली No deal. Oh, you see in his arc. That's how he turned road. Lagane se pehle. Masi 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 yo. Who? Bab se baat kar. Masi masi yo. Who? Masi 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 yo. I need Ruth again for the musical. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. So maybe there is a big influx of South that. Indian influences here. Well, the the direction seems very South Southern. Whoa, that's that big. That transition was, was big. Oh, the hundred, pay the editor. Pay the editor the big bucks. Do it one more time. What? I will get them. This sequence right here, freaking sick. Vibe. That's good. Now, what do you need? A song to listen to, right? Hey, not so not you. Did I put it on the air? I'll sing you a song. What do you need? Let's listen to one more time. See, there's a lot of freaking South Indian influences in the in the music in the in the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just it just ha it just had a different feel overall. It doesn't feel like you're Hindi, Tamil, and Telugu. Yes, I I think it's it, there's I think it's a predominantly big South, South Indian influence here. Very I interesting. Love, Very it's interesting. It's not my cup of tea kind of movie. There is a lot happening here. I feel like this movie will be separated in three parts. Yeah. Uh, just three for acts. just for like audience retention and understanding of the plot but see, see how long the movie is so it is nearly three hours so definitely three acts yeah um or a, yeah definitely or at I least think, two uh, uh it if it feels like there's a lot to unpack there like yeah. in but terms not, of storyboard it's not Baleska's a cup of tea it nah. might be mine though I'm, I'm always down to watch uh action all day long obviously very hard for us to do a review of this because oh, ba yeah. Baleska This is not Balesca style. Listen, well, new movies, new influences, new things to explore. A lot of things from the south we checked out, which is quite cool. We don't usually do that. Um, I'd I love actually think that's one of my favorite uh, uh, parts of India in terms of like music and 
Films. I think they've got such cool films. Mm. Marathi, Malayalam, uh, Tamil, Telugu. Baleska's a big fan of Telugu stuff. We, yes. we actually listen to... I wouldn't say more Telugu but music than Hindi, but we listen to a lot. But we listen to a amount of, of South Indian music. Yeah. Um, I actually think there's there's beauty in the percussiveness of their languages too, that it, it highlights the 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 nature of the percussion forward musical approach to 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 their things too. I really like it. I also think that a lot of the really cool um directing music videos that I have seen in terms of like choreography implementation of music videos have been from the south. Mm. I also like the fact that they prioritize um organic kind of like acting like a slice of life things we should definitely do a south indian podcast special for sure I th- as a matter of fact i'll announce it now i think that the following indian podcast that we do i think it would be quite cool if we do it yeah either on a new state that we've never checked out or a new music industry we've never checked out or a new yeah or films from the south that we have never actually seen or things or like east that. or west yeah. food, food is, is the, the best, best. <laughs>